Uh, my name is James Cochran and I work at Restaurant 1251. First course today that we're plating will be um, lion cork Cornish mackerel with exo sauce, pickled cucumber and hazelnuts. Getting in fresh mackerel with lion cork from Cornwall, we'll be filleting and V-cutting it, then lightly curing it in equal amounts of salt and sugar. Literally blow torch it so it's nice, nice and dark on there. Then basically the exo sauce, we kind of get a brimoise of parma ham, minced garlic, minced ginger, blitzed up dried shrimp and scallops, finished off with some dried chilli and some oil. Then the hazelnuts just slightly toasted up and cracked. And then for the pickled cucumber, coming up on the left side of the plate. Then the torch mackerel on top of that. Then the pickled cucumber on top of the mackerel. Then some cracked hazelnuts. So there we have lime cork mackerel with exo sauce, cucumber and hazelnuts. So the second dish I'm going to show you is organic Kent bread lamb, smoked cod's rope puree, black olive crumb, garlic and nasturtium. The lamb, we literally just score the fat. Then we basically brine it in a brine solution of soy sauce, fish sauce and mirin. Then for the smoked cod's rope puree, we basically get the smoked cod's rope, add some water, garlic, mustard, a bit of cayenne. Then for the black olive crumb, we literally blitz up the black olives, put them in dehydrator so they dry out and re-blend them. Lamb sauce, then we split the sauce with a bit of garlic oil. Plating up, a little blob of smoked cod's roe puree. Then we carve the lamb into two nice pieces. And literally it goes smoked cod's roe, lamb. Then on top of smoked cod's roe puree, with a bit of black olive crumb. Then nice rich sauce split with the garlic over the top and just around. Then finish off with a few bit of nasturtium leaves. And there we have organic Kent bread lamb, with smoked cod's roe, black olive, garlic and nasturtium. So my third dish is kind of like a cranican. I'm half Scottish, so what we've done, we kind of flipped it up. So basically we've got a porridge toasted oat custard tart. Then we've got broken um, raspberries on top. Then for the cream element, basically I get clotted cream. Put some zest and pepper in there, roll it up, freeze it, and then we kind of microplane and grate it over the top of that. And then on the base of it, we actually have a, a um, toasted oat crust. It's basically like kind of like a crumble. So you've got butter, flour, sugar, and I just add oats into it and blend it up. Then for the custard element, what we do is we've got a good ratio to oats. We just bring it up just below boiling point and literally pour that into the tart base, cook it at 92 degrees for about an hour or so until it literally wobbles in the middle. Then basically that's put into the fridge for a couple hours. From there, we uh, caramelise the top with a bit of icing sugar. Then literally we just tear raspberries naturally and then we just might complain frozen clotted cream on top. So there we have toasted oat custard tart with broken raspberries and frozen clotted cream.